What's going on out there, YouTube? That's the 0320 representing JVS. I'm back here again for another review for the Gifted. Uh, sorry if I feel like I'm very happy. I saw this dope TV spot for uh, Star Wars. It's called Star Wars Last Jedi uh, Awake. Uh, definitely going to check this out if you haven't seen it yet. But the name of this episode is Boxed In. It's the fifth episode. And to me, this was an essential episode. Uh, more so than I realized, just because I really got to get into the mind of this sentinel representative named Jace. Like, why does he hate mutants so much? Why is he so feeling to be empowered, but yet cold and callous, but then calm and collect all the time? Um, and you really get to see why. Like, it starts and opens up with him with his family and his daughter, and his daughter is, it's, man, dude, that was so emotional. And it, it, it's crazy because the way that they the level the episode out, it pays off even more so with his character because now that that situation that he had to re-go through with his wife, dude, man, hate ain't even the word for it, bro. Like it's it's gonna be a reckoning. And I'm not sure I'm not sure what he is more willing to do now because of that happening. He's probably more willing to work with that doctor that's the sicko um, to come against the group. Uh, another big interesting thing was that Dreamer and uh, Blink got into this interesting confrontation because finally Blink was like, look, did you mess with my mind? Did you do it? Did you rub my lamp? <laughs> I'm just joking. But I think, like, legit, though, she, I mean, she's justified in coming to her at that, like, you know, and it's just crazy because now that memory is implanted into her head and it's nothing she can do. But it's funny to go, she said she could remove it, but now she's become attached to the idea of it. And it's like, I don't think she wants to get rid of it. The other thing that happens is, like, with the dad, you know, they just don't trust this tale, rightfully so, given the circumstances. The guy that can disappear, he looked at him, he's like, no, don't trust this guy. And so I think one of the things that, from a plot standpoint, didn't make sense, I guess it was just to give the, the character something to do, is to pit him with somebody that already doesn't trust him. Um, the guy that disappears stuff, you know, that he wronged. Like, you're going to put him in a situation now, like, he could literally get kidnapped and tortured for your destination, your location. Um... And then all around with the kids and the mom, they're trying to make themselves useful. And there's this guy that got shot. And, like, legit, the daughter has the coolest moment ever when the guy starts hemorrhaging. I know that sounds crazy. Uh, but when he starts hemorrhaging, and I was like, yo, what are they going to do? I was like, is she going to be able to stop it? And sure enough, she creates this field and goes inside. And I was just like, yo, that's so dope. Um... But I think the standout to this episode was definitely Jace's storyline. It it was essential for me to understand and at the same time empathize. Like, X-Men is not always just about, like, one-sided stance. It's always about ramifications that, you know, somebody immoral might do or somebody that had, like, a really good engaging thought and then it just got pushed into the atmosphere because uh, Solar and... Um, What's the name? You know, when they had Jace kind of locked up, he was like, look, my daughter is dead because of this kind of situation. And they had to reconcile that. They were like, you know, that wasn't what the intent was. But no matter what, there was a casualty for something that was mutant oriented. And now it's engaged in more prejudice and people just like Jace. And so it's just interesting how, like, it makes you process and think. And that's what the X-Men movies and comics and shows have really all been about but uh this was a good episode um all in all definitely very strong for that character um i get this episode 8.5 out of 10 i actually really enjoyed it i would give it a little bit higher um maybe a nine but um hope my wife is okay but anyway okay i gotta go keep it locked jvs we ain't gonna stop talk to you guys later peace guys